you see any way across. Yeah, I think I do. As long as you do it quiet. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to uh, Bullet Storm. About to make some bad decisions. Ah, oh, it looks so nice. Just looks so nice. We have no ammo, which um, kind of sucks, but we can get some. <laughs> How stupid you are! Hey, at least we don't have to whisper anymore. Yep, bad decisions. Just making them. Enjoy making them. All right. So in the last episode, we had um had a comment about using some of the other weapons, and we can definitely do that. Uh, your assault rifle has to stay with you, or your carbine. You can't do too much about that, but we can switch out the pistol. Or let's do a flail gun. I'm gonna hold on to the sniper rifle just because it's uh, I need it. <laughs> I really need it. But uh, yeah, swap out the pistol. That's our left weapon. We can't do anything too fun with this because we don't have the charge yet. But uh, let's grab some ammo. Cap that out. All right, looking good. I'll try to do some more fun stuff. So I forget what the deal with these things is. I don't. I'm not sure if it just like uh, uh hurts. If it just paralyzes them. Okay, I'm gonna. Gonna ruin your life. Oh snap! No! What's going on over here? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, got the uh, little bang bang thing. No! I'm losing it. I'm losing it, guys. There we go. Yeah, I just don't want to try to cross the gap with these snipers if I don't have to. Other targets I can play around with, but this is, uh... They can be a little nasty. A little nasty, nasty. This way? Maybe. Let's go. Probably not the best weapon to use inside confined space. You want to go through this building? Or maybe demolish it? Don't actually know what those things are for, but they definitely give you some uh, skill points, so that's kind of kind of interesting. Sometimes demolish is the only way through. Whatever. Yeah, I don't really need this. But I wonder what the conditions are for getting uh for getting my charge on with a flail gun. So bullet storm is very, very much on rails. Not a whole lot that you can do to, to circumvent it. I'm guessing murderous mutations wasn't included in the brochure for this vacation hell world. Venus man-eaters. Their sounds give away their location. Plant life on world is mutated. A lot of it's sentient. Made half the squad on my first tour. I want to check around real quick, see if we can find a, a bottle to, to shoot at. Doesn't look like there's anything. Just don't want to miss them. We're doing pretty good, I think, so... Mm-hmm. And? Oh. Uh. 
All right, so they, oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. They definitely want me to use the uh, big daddy thumper here. Let's see if I can pull it off. All right, so that launches everybody up in the air. Oh, I mean, if they're close enough, which I guess this guy was not. Oh! Where yet? Ruin your life. Feels like those bastard skulls are following us. We are not the target. They are heading towards that capsule. The one with Serrano in it. We need to get there first and protect the general. <sighs> protect the general. Unless that is at odds with your true motives. Look, I told you I'd get you off this planet, and I... Hey! Shit, our bunny hopped. There. If you are not going to cooperate, I have no reason to allow you to hey, live. Hey, she, damn it, Stand it aside! This is my detail. You do what I say. One more betrayal. I will snap your neck. <coughs> nice friend. Used to be. Just trusted the wrong person. All right, so I like that um, that she didn't, you know, smack his hand away when he went in to, to pick her up. Welcome to the park. You can buy happiness. Why does he do these things? Why do I do these things? Why do these things happen? <laughs> okay. Sure. What do you figure happened here? Upgraded capacity. Let's see. Play with us a little bit. The place was inundated with solar radiation. They tried to get the tourists out, but there was banshees. I hear them. Yep, nothing. Nothing. No bottles. That's no fun, is it? All right, well, the event triggered when I went in here. What the heck? Where am I going? What do I got a leash? It's gotta be something. What's going on? Arrow say to go this way? Okay, all right, all right. So this thing is, um, it's cool because it wraps them up and then it detonates them. I don't actually remember what the charge is. Oh, <laughs> I can wrap my own teammates. It's kind of funny. That's not too bad. That's pretty destructive right there. We'll have to buff its ammo size though. Ah, oh, come on. Let's give him a show! <laughs> oh, snap. Ah, it keeps hitting that thing on the left-hand side. Maybe a little bit more open. Uh, 
Don't mind if I do. Go, go, go. All right. Still nothing, huh? No bottles. Oh, hi. On his back. That's a Confederate Rhino Blast Mega Charger filled Shoot with the backpack. That's all you gotta say. Wow. So that uh, that flail gun. Wow. Wow. Did a holy crap ton of damage. That was that was pretty intense. What is this? Oh, a cannonball gun. Sweet. Can I actually? Uh, Ah, why not? Darkness, here I come. Hope you're ready for me. So we got a nice new toy to play with. Not sure how much ammo we have. Thought you could um make this go left and right too, but. Strange biological composition. Idiot! Get away from that! Uh, what, what the hell is that? Charge! You serve all Confederate bitch! Hey! What's the matter with you two? Calm the fuck down! Psychotropic disassociatives inside those things. It causes pugnacious hallucinations. An anti peace pipe. Yes. In monkey terms. What do we got? Four shots in this thing? Not a whole lot. So... And then it gave me that back. It replaced my what? My flat gun. That kind of sucks. Okay, let's unlock this. Alright. Yeah, we'll just keep the 12 right now. I'm, I'll am i drop the sniper rifle. For, uh, for that flail gun. We'll play with that a little bit more. Is my right weapon. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, running low on skill points, so I gotta gotta liven things up. Shoot that spark! I thought you said. See, even the worst shit has a use. That's why we keep you around. That's great, Ishii. I will open the gate. I got it. Ray, get up here. I need help. Shit. What happy horse shit was that? Dickish Palace dinner. We gotta move. We're not leaving till I see a body. You're gonna see two bodies if you stick around here, Cromag. You wanna head out there on your own? Feel free, sister. But I. Wait. Picking up something on the leash. <laughs> that crafty metal bastard sending a signal. God damn. He's underground. Moving at a good clip, too. Come on. Must be taking him to its nest. Oh, suddenly the broad is a botanist. So, it seems like some of these places, they artificially... Like, I was waiting for that thing to come down, right? They artificially slow you down so that you can... Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll give you a mouthful of love, punk! Are you serious? Sure your gun's big enough to deliver? Size don't matter. All in how you use it. Sure, you go on believing that. They artificially slow you down. This is actually something we talked about in Mass Effect 2, but when you're uh, you're running with your squad, in, or Mass Effect 3, sorry, sometimes you can't, um... That's not too bad. 
Sometimes you kind of overlap with what you're they're saying, like they'll they'll skip lines and such because you're moving too quick. Shake a tail feather. Ishi's on short time. Oh man. Not too bad, not too bad. How's that? That's a leg. <laughs> Ishii's not moving. And not moving is what people do when they're dead. Thanks for the optimism. Very maternal. All right, looks like we have, uh, eh, we're just gonna keep the ammo. There's a boss fight coming up here real soon, but um, I'm not too concerned. I actually remember the uh, first time I went through it. <laughs> looks like we got Hell's Own Garden down here. The first time I went through it, there was problems with ammo, but uh, I think we'll be, think we'll be good. Probably hit another one of those leash things before it. We finish up anyway. See if I can kick him right in. Oh, that was a little, a little painful. Ho oh, ho. Got the boomsticks. Oh no, why? <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> it was like, oh look, ammo. Place is just filled with with spikes. I mean, like, what do you think I'm gonna do? All right, got our little happy leash right here. Let's get stocked up. Stocked up. Oh, Thumper. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Alright, well. Let us do that instead. Charge still not available. Yeah, still nothing. Okay. We got nothing for skill points, but... I think we're good. Let's go. Ah, shit, Take a quick look. Wait, you hear that? Get cover! Nice engineering work there, skull boys. You think maybe? Kinda close, almost. Yeah, not quite, not quite. Let's give her some of the some of the baddies first. Man eaters' tongues are strong enough to bring down a copter. Two of you might be related. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. One. 
too. Oh, it's so good. around every corner. Oh, you know what? There was a... Uh, I could have picked up a heavy machine gun. 300 meters! Halfway there. Keep up and stay alert. Man-eaters love tight spots. I'm not even gonna touch that one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. One. There we go. Well, maybe. Bring these goons. Ishi's clock is running dead. Man. There we go. What's going on? Come on. Come on. Damn, it ain't happening! I don't know. You can just like chill there, fall to your death. Alright. Yeah, they're making it wicked easy to uh to pull off some of these kills. Alright, just two of the man eaters over here. Let's see if we can move that on. Out of there. <laughs> Alright. Give me that. I think we are all set. Sweet. Ah, thought I saw something I wanted to shoot at. No, nope, not so much. Quiet. Like a mausoleum. What is this? The creep's meditation chamber? They don't seem like the quiet, reflective type. Ugh. It's kind of interesting. This doesn't have um, as much damage as the flail, but it does. Uh, it doesn't have as much damage and doesn't have as much ammo either. A little bit strange. Military, we're right on top of this thing. Check your corners, trust nothing. Any plants you see could be connected. What the hell are we marching into? No idea. But the crazy shit I've seen down here would turn your asshole purple. The insults in this game are not even insults, just like crude, crude humor. It's, it's really, I don't know, it's strange, I guess. All right, let's do it. That garden, center of the atrium. Same as the one Ishii disappeared into. Yeah, so what do you think is gonna happen? Holy shit, Ishii's signal is coming from below it. Probably already shit him out. But turn me up and shoot! All right, so this thing is, um, it's not, uh, I don't think it's overly difficult. It reminds me a lot of the, um, the Thorian. Like, could you imagine if the Thorian was, uh, 
in Mass Effect 1. I was like this angry. That would have been a, a much different fight. <laughs> Watch the ground! Torpedo anything that moves! Yeah, unfortunately, they make the uh, the ground like wicked slick so you can just slide on by. Just like do loops, I guess. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Kicking up some kind of pollen! Can't see a goddamn thing! Aim in the thing's direction and fire! Yeah, it's just... Uh, I guess better for, uh, for AoE than anything else, but... The flail gun is super nasty by comparison. God, it's got me! Ah! Yeah, look at this damage. Look at it. Oh, three shot it. Look out! More pollen! It's regenerating! Focus your fire on those orange membranes! There it is. And now it's, I don't know how it got there. <laughs> but it's a little upside down. You do not want that thing to get its mouth around you! Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay, bastards trying to regenerate! Hit it with everything you've got! Nuke those tentacles! Okay, tentacles? That is fucking gross. <laughs> no ammo. So we got. It's pretty close to dead. So moving through this boss fight, you can see that there's, um, you know, they give you this, the slick ground, they give you the, the ammo stores off to the side and that sort of thing. But they leave some, some ambiguity as to how you're supposed to defeat it. I mean, they give you tips later, like, oh, he's regenerating and something, something, something. Shoot him! Do not let those fucking things near you! Another round coming! But they don't tell you, you know how long it's going to survive. They don't tell you how many waves there is. There are. You know, how many stages, what the thing's going to do. It's it's not dumb. The fight itself is, is kind of cut and dry because, you know, there's something to shoot at, you shoot at it. And that's, that's pretty much it. But, I mean, that's this game in a nutshell. But at the same time, they try to be really, um, unique. Like, it's not just uh, some guy that's it's got a big gun and he's, he's walking around and he just takes a lot of damage. It's something that actually seems powerful and kind of foreign, and just like the uh, the first boss, the first one we ever encountered, the the big wheel, right, the grind wheel. It's uh, it's not typical, and that's what I think this um this game really excels at. It's as far as character designs and that sort of thing. Focus your fire on the slithery bits. I shouldn't say character designs. I mean, like, enemy and environment. Because there's definitely a lot that is, uh... Like, not imaginative. <laughs> imaginative. <laughs> like, when you look at, um... Uh, the girlie's character. I can't remember her name. It's called, man. But 
But uh, she's she's very Shoot it in the head. The head. It's almost down. Like stereotypical. In that it's a it's a cutesy girl, but she has this um She's super buff, right? She's like not something that you mess with. And that's a character design that's that's seen a lot. Maybe too much nowadays. Come on, sister, we're going after him. But she goes overboard. Like she's even has the the little heart on her tank top and the fact that she's wearing a tank top. But when you you know kind of juxtapose that with somebody like Commander Shepard, is very Commander Shepard is a, a real woman, right? She's not like a girly girl that just happens to be a wicked buff. Oh what is that stench? <laughs> is she landed in plant poop? Oh. Hey, make sure you get behind your ears, stinky. Scrub it up. Would you like to take a turn in that pile? Keep it up. Ooh, a threat. Guess that's as close to a thank you as I'm gonna get, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out. Bullet storm, running through it. Pretty close, pretty close to the end. Not a bad boss fight. I like that. A lot of movement involved, which is something that um, I think a lot of games should capitalize on more. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about it, I mean, the the whole basis of a bullet storm is you know move, shoot, be ridiculous, and I think that boss fight kind of represents some of that. But we're at the end. Catch y'all next time.